Hello everyone, my name is Piotr Valtrushin, I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist and today I wanted to show you a library that I recently created and use on multiple projects when I was building a PhoneGap uh, mobile applications. Uh, so the library is called Backstack and it's an extension for a Backbone which is a sort of a lightweight um, uh, an MVC framework which you can use for HTML5 or JavaScript, HTML, CSS development and yeah and also Backbone really nice, nicely works as well with uh, PhoneGap so as well HTML5 apps. Alright so Backstack is a library and extension which allows you to uh, do a view navigation of your uh, views, your pages in your mobile apps. You can use Backstack in, in the browser and I'll show you that in a second but uh, this is really meant more, more for a mobile type of uh, development. So that's just a sort of a warning for you. Um, so mm, as I said, it allows you to navigate the views of your app and also maintain the history of your views. So you can view, so you can push the views on top of a stack of views, which can stack up uh, as much as you want. You can pop the views and it will maintain the history and the state of the views that are underneath uh, in, the, the, in the stack. And you can pop, push, replace, and do all kinds of things with a nice view uh, transitions. So you can do like a slide effect, you can do a fade effect, and also there is no effect uh, built into uh, Backstack itself. And if you want, you can also extend and create your own effects uh, if you want. And there is a, a simple effect class which can be easily extended in JavaScript. Uh, all right, so um, let's, uh, let's see where you can get Backstack from and how you can use it with uh, phone gap development. All right, so Backstack uh, is available on GitHub under my uh, account, Pevalchishin uh, Backstack, and you can download from here a Backstack a JavaScript implementation uh, in uh, and the minimum fight version and a, a sort of a development version. You can have uh, a, a short read about itself, what it is and how you can use it. And there is a, a full documentation of a whole API so you can see how, what type of events it can trigger, what, uh, what kind of operations on the stack you can do. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's as well see a demo page which is also hosted on GitHub. Uh, here it is the link. And here is a simple page which shows you how uh, how Backstack works. So you can see it nicely slides in a, a new view. You can slide in next views and sort of navigate within your application. Uh, also, here is an API documentation if you want. There is a, an example page which actually slides in an iframe with, uh, with JS Fiddle in this case. And you can see a, a simple uh, implementation uh, on JS Fiddle. So you can see what resources are required. So it's underscored back, uh, backbone, backstack. And of course, for that, it's also jQuery. And uh, HTML, very simple, just a like div with a container. And the result uh, is just a, a simple app where you can slide and it pops up a message when the slide effect is over. Okay, so let's quickly jump into my IDE where I link to it into a WW folder, which is a folder um, used by my uh, Backstack demo app uh, for PhoneGap. So this is, this is this folder just for the convenience and ease of use. Uh, I will use my favorite IDE in this case. All right, so so I restructure a little bit uh, a default project uh, created by PhoneGap to make it more uh, clean and, and easy to understand. And of course, this is the simple index.html5 uh, file um, where you, I linked all the necessary libraries required by Backbone, Backstack, and of course, uh, Cordova, so PhoneGap. And so all the libs are under scripts and they have their own uh, folders there. Now I'll create a new folder for a, a view implementations. So let's create like views folder. And here we can create new and I created a, a simple a file template. So to just speed up and it's JavaScript back, back, uh, backstack view. Uh, and let's call it uh, view one. And as you can see, it's it's actually 
it uses a backbone uh, view implementation so nothing special here view one let's give it a name like this and in the render function let's render something uh, simple uh, HTML and let's create like h1 tag here hello back stack and here let's put a button with some ID that we will uh, reference and it will trigger a transition to the next view so button uh, let's call it view 2 and uh, go to view 2 so let's give it a label like that and uh, another thing this is again uh, backbone specific uh, we can specify an event uh, handlers so on click on our um, button view 2 we want to trigger uh, let's give it a name like this view 2 uh, click handler uh, so let's trigger that function and that function will implement here and there we go so now uh, when you push a view into a backstack um, uh, you can you, it actually backstack implementation uh, extends decorates your uh, your view implementation with additional property which is called um, stack uh, navigator and stack navigator has functions like push uh, view uh, pop view so you can see as well like pop uh, view pop all multiple different um, uh, functions which you can use but that you can uh, drill down in the API documentation which is available on, on github let's push the view and it let's give it a view to class name you could uh, as well here push an instance of a view or if you're pushing a class as I do and you want to add some map options into the initialize uh, function of backbone um, you can as well uh, pass it as a second parameter and the third parameter is a transition that you want to play during but it will use the default one which is actually a slide effect and that's it what we need to create here now let's quickly create a second view so again a template uh, view 2 let's give it a view 2 name and just add a simple renderer that we know that we uh, slide it into the second view so let's give it uh, this is view 2 all right uh, now last thing we need to do we need to of course reference those two javascript files uh, so let's just do it quickly like that um, and it's there under views and view 1 and of course here uh, views and view two and one last thing let's replace whatever was generated by the wizard and let's create a diff uh, that will be a container uh, for our uh, backstack uh, implementation so let's give it a container name and on body load that's I think good place to start and instantiate backstack so let's create a stack navigator instance which is uh, implemented in back stack namespace and stack navigator class here and stack navigator class is actually an extended uh, backbone view so you can use a syntax familiar from backbone like el and uh, element that you want to decorate with your uh, with backstack here and let's uh, point it to a container id here and stack navigator now we can uh, push view and in push view function will push in this case view one class all right so let's uh, let's see how it works and we can maybe trigger that in Safari for instance so you can see it's slided in the uh, the first view and now it's slided in the second view you could as well pop the view so it would slide out uh, or control it differently if you would add your own transitions all right so let's uh, let's as well see how that runs in the emulator so let's uh, rebuild our project let's run it and 
and it should be here. There we go. So you can see it's slided in the first view, although it also popped up uh, a, a alert box that is uh, part of the example generated by the um, Xcode plugin uh, for uh, for PhoneGap Cordova. Let's tap this and you can see it's slided nicely the, the second view. Okay, so uh, as you can see, Backstack is very simple and if you don't want to use any uh, other framework like jQuery Mobile, um, Sencha, which probably have the same functionality and just stick with a very simple implementation and also you use uh, Backbone and you want to use the rest, you want to create your own HTML components in your mobile apps, then I encourage you to use Backstack. Um, you can as well, uh, I encourage you to extend it, uh, fork it, on GitHub and uh, send me some pull requests. I will gladly uh, pull those into the, the source code. All right, thank you very much and stay tuned for more.